Hey everyone. Have you heard of the phrase, use it or lose it? Often talking about our physical muscles that if we don't use them, they become weak and compromised. I believe the same can be true of our walk of faith, our relationship with Jesus. And we see it illustrated in the wise and the foolish builders in Matthew 7 verse 24 onwards. Where Jesus says to the crowd, Anyone who hears these words of mine and puts them into practice is like a wise builder who builds their house upon a rock. Compared to those who hear the words of Jesus and do not put them into practice, they are like foolish builders who build their house upon the sand. When the storms come, that house falls with a great crash. To take it even further, Jesus said in Matthew 13, Whoever has understanding about the kingdom of heaven will be given more and in abundance. Whoever does not have, even what he has, even the little that they have heard, but not taken the time to understand, that will be taken away from them. It's quite a challenging truth, but it just shows that our walk with Jesus needs to be dynamic, alive and growing. We can be confident that as we press in to our faith, into Jesus, God will give us abundantly more of himself. What areas of your life, what muscles of your faith need to be stretched and exercised a little more today? We are made up of mind, soul, body and spirit, and every area can be strengthened. Are there some anxious thoughts that need to be taken captive of, some bottled up anger that needs to be addressed. Perhaps you feel stirred to step up in your prayer life or challenged to witness the love of Christ to a co-worker. Whatever it might be, know that as you press in to God, as you exercise his word, it is God that works in you to will and to act according to his good purpose. Philippians 2.13 Let us be wise builders today and an understanding people as we practice the truths of God and as we stretch those muscles of faith. Bless you heaps.